Make your model railroading videos look good on YouTube with some basic editing techniques here. So let's get started with this right now. I'm Tom Kovicak and this is Tom's Trains and Things. This channel was created to help other modelers who are in need of guidance in pursuing their dream of building a model railroad. And if you're a creator like me and want to get your videos out on YouTube and show what you've done with your railroad, I have some good tips for you and I'm going to show you how to do it on Vegas Movie Studio. I've been editing videos with Vegas Movie Studio for over 16 years now. That's what I started out with and then I graduated up to the pro version. But I just got another version of the, the Movie Studio so I could help you out with editing on the movie studio version. Now there are three different tiers of it and you could do basically the same thing with every tier. There's just a little bit more bells and whistles when you get up to the higher priced ones. Now if you would like to purchase it I have links in the description here and on my webpage. There are affiliate links. I get a little cut out of it yes and you get a good deal out of it too. So we could help each other out on it. And if you hit it at the right time, every once in a while they'll run a special where you could get 20% off or as much as 30% off on it. So you could get a pretty good deal out of that by going on the links on my webpage or down in the description below. All right, now I'm gonna tell you a little bit about what the requirements are for YouTube videos. And then I'm gonna go into a little tutorial on Vegas Movie Studio. So let's get going with that right now. Before we get into talking about Vegas Movie Studio, let me give you some basics on video editing and file formats and sizes, aspect ratio, bit rates, and all that good stuff that you need to know before you put your video on there to make a good looking video. Now, YouTube has a lot of help files telling you what they will accept. And right here, I have the first thing on here, and these are the file formats. And as you can see, they have a lot of different file formats on there that you can use to upload your videos. Now the second one is the aspect ratio and that is the size of the video you want to put up on there. And now the next one is the bit rate. Now that is how much information is going in there. The higher the bit rate, the bigger the file, but it's going to look better. The more information that's going to go in there. Now a lot of you want to get the best picture available, but if you're doing a 1280 by 70 video, you recorded it that way, you're not going to get a better looking video if you render it at 1920 by 1080. It's not going to happen. You can't increase it. You could do it the same. You could decrease it. If you try to take it up, it's going to make it look worse. If anything, you want to check what your captured video is. Click on the video, you know, just click on it. Don't double click on it and look down at the information and it'll tell you what the resolution is on it. That is what your target is when you want to render. And there are a lot of render settings in not just Vegas Movie Studio, but any software that you use, you'll have those options in there to render at the optimal settings. On Vegas Movie Studio they have an easy way to render videos. You just click on Make Movie and there is a list of Vimeo, YouTube, Facebook, different places where you could do it and it automatically gives you the right settings for your video to send it off to the particular place that you want to do it. So keep watching. I'm going to give you more tips on Vegas Movie Studio. So let's get started with this and see what this is all about. The Movie Studio. Now the one that I have is the Platinum version. So this is going to come up here. As you can see it comes up with your tracks already on there. One for text, video, audio, and then music. Now you could add more tracks 
say I want to add a, another video track or an audio track I could come over here on the video track and right click on it and insert video track okay I'm going to name this I'm going to double click on there and call it video 2 okay so now we got two video tracks you could do the same thing with an audio track now mark asked me a question about this window here and I'm assuming this this is where he has the window well you can move this window out of here this is your preview window and I'm gonna grab these little things right here and you could make it as big as you want as small as you want and if you have a second monitor you could move it on to another monitor I have another monitor and that's what I usually do is I move it over onto another monitor so I could see the timeline and the video preview at the same time now let me shorten this up a little bit here you can also put this thing back in just bring it back over and hold down the control while you're pressing and it'll bring it back in now you can move these over you can move this down and up like that and you can see that'll change the size of the preview window you can move this over here this is your audio bus over here since we have two audio tracks you can see the two two lines here if and if we add another audio track we'll show a third line it'll show another bar right here so we could use all this space right here and if you wanted to you could change this I have this under details right now but you could change this if you like thumbnails more than details you could look at that now the reason you see something up there and nothing down here is because I'm in I'm still in the Explorer this is captured clips and Vegas now for project media you'll see nothing because nothing's in there so let me grab one of these things that I just made and I just did it this morning and that's this one here so it'll show up in there before I tell you about Vegas movie studio let me t give you a few hints Bef okay before I tell Not you bloopers. about Vegas Movie <laughs> Studio, let me give you a few hints about what you can put. Okay. Now you see up here, this little icon right here, I have it pushed in. Whenever you select any uh, item out of here, it's going to preview in your preview pane. I recently did a uh, bunch of videos on DCC and JMRI. Okay. Now if you undo that, and you click on something it's not going to show it so what I normally do is I, I just keep it clicked and that'll that'll bring it up and you could always uh, shut it off or let me do it this way okay it's running as soon as I bring it down Before into the timeline you about Vegas movie studio, it'll it'll stop in the preview window now it's going to ask you, do you want to set your project video settings to match this media? I would say yes to it. That way, everything is going to uh, be at the same speed, at the same resolution. Now, sometimes I take videos with different cameras. I'll always go to the, to the fastest one. And if I see any problems with it, I'll... I'll change the uh, the settings on it and you can always come over to project go to properties and you have the the project settings right here and you can bring the drop down and you have a list of settings that you could set it at and and this one is set at 720 HDV 720 30p 
which is 29.97 frames per second. That's this one right here. And we're just going to leave it like that. But I just wanted to show you how to do it in the project properties. Okay, some basic things about editing. Okay, we could drag the top of this to fade. We could right click on it and do a quick fade to change it. And so when, whenever we play, it'll bring it up slowly okay. like that. Before I tell you about Vegas Movie Studio. Okay, let's bring it back. Now you got to find, okay, bring it back like that. And I'll change it to this one right here. And it comes up a lot faster that, that way. All right, now I'm going to come over here, about right here. I'm going to hit the S key. And I just split that right there. Now, that I made two clips out of that right now. I could bring this in like that. And you see that 225? That means that is 2 seconds and 25 frames. It's a little confusing, but there's 29.9 seconds. So that's almost three seconds right there. So I'll come up a little bit more. You'll see 27, 29, and it'll go to three. So that's a three second fade. So watch what happens when I do this. Ratios that uh, they will to that in that one. Okay, and we could move this just by dragging it. We could change how long the fade is. Uh, they will accept that and that will be on YouTube. Okay, right there. I'm going to cut right there. Now, I'm going to cut out that. Okay, we'll move that out of the way for right now. I have, I just clicked, I just left clicked on my mouse on the edge of that, and I'm going to drag this back. And that's going to shorten that clip. So that just took out that just took out the on YouTube. Okay. So that just took out the clip. Now, let me. I'll just do a uh, undo. See, I'll do a redo up here. Oops. Okay. Now, before we get into talking, here is a. Let me go back and do an undo. We'll get the little. Okay. I'm going to highlight that little area right there, and see this little. Uh, partial circle this is repeat so it's gonna do it over and over again until you stop it we'll get into that a little bit later on in the discussion in another video that it, it's a little bit more advanced and and then the first step in uh, video editing on Vegas movie studio but this is uh, far enough I showed you um, how to um, let me bring the camera up there okay I showed you how to uh, open it up I showed you how to add a uh, track to it set the preferences on there how to fade how to cut how to shorten and undo and redo and to change the um, uh, what your um, files look like how to select your files so that's step one in our uh, tutorial for Vegas Movie Studio. I'll be showing you a little bit more in upcoming events. So stay tuned for that. If you would like to see more videos like this, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. And while you're at it, ding that bell! And that'll notify you whenever I have another video coming out. So keep watching and we'll see ya. Bye-bye.